September, November. Thomas Doyle recites the months of the year backwards during an evaluation of his thinking skills. August. The 66-year-old retired professor was diagnosed with dementia and Parkinson's disease four and a half years ago, but he noticed symptoms before that. I was a professor of education and um, I started to forget the lectures that I had given for years and years and years and I was having trouble answering students' questions. Doyle wishes there was a blood test that could screen for possible signs of dementia before symptoms become obvious. It's so difficult at times to come up with a diagnosis for those of us who have dementia and all that time we're wondering is a time of anxiety and if we could cut back on the no amount of time that it takes to get a diagnosis, it would be absolutely wonderful. Scientists are closing in on that long-sought goal. On Monday, researchers released new results from experimental blood tests, including one that seems 88% accurate at indicating Alzheimer's risk. We're still a few years out before it may be available in the clinic. However, today we are closer than we thought we would be just a few years ago. Researchers hope doctors can use a simple blood test to determine who needs more extensive testing. Current tools such as brain scans and spinal fluid tests are too expensive or impractical for such screening. This means we can now look to intervene with clinical trials, experimental treatments, at a time well before these changes have occurred in the brain and perhaps when we can prevent their change. Researchers are trying to target dementia at its earliest stages to prevent the formation of amyloid, a protein that clogs the brains of people with Alzheimer's. Thomas Doyle believes a blood test could have made a big difference. That would have simplified my life so much and it would have led them to a treatment plan that probably would have been most beneficial to me at that point and would have helped me in the future. Promising news in the battle against dementia, a disease that affects an estimated 50 million people worldwide. Terry Che, Associated Press.